starting off the day with a jelly goat and a Paper Street coffee. Tell me what you just told me. I'll have some coffee over there for you. You what? I'll have coffee over there for you. She left some coffee over here for me. Are you kidding me? My daily stack from Swolverine, Hawaii Isolate, Collagen, Glutamine, Creacrylate. And Allie. And Allie. All right, <clears throat> Saturday morning, just grab the chili goat. We're eating some breakfast now. What do you have for breakfast, Allie? Well, I had two pieces of toast, bison and broccoli slaw, and some oatmeal with yogurt, peanut butter, blueberries, and cinnamon in it. And a coffee. Coming. And a water. I got some bison, some Spanish rice, and cottage cheese, which is what I also eat for dinner, and a protein shake. All right, it's about time to get started on training now. Finish with breakfast. Still warming up from the chili goat, and we also haven't turned the heat on in the gym yet. Really fine. Once you get warmed up, you're good to go. So I think I'm gonna start <clears throat> with some running. Then I'm gonna do a metcon with some snatches. I think I might go around 225 to 235. We'll see how it feels. Then I'll do some squats. I also want to do some upper body pulling endurance and some low back work today and some grip grip work. I injured my, uh, I pulled a muscle or whatever in my forearm during one of the events at Crash last weekend, but it's feeling better now. So I haven't done any grip work this week, just letting that heal. So we'll do that today. Allison will be out here in a minute. Start training with me. Here we go. So here's my first piece for today. We got some sprint work on the Air Runner from Kilo Trained. <laughs> Just finished up with my running intervals on the Air Runner. Getting warmed up for my snatch workout now. I'm doing uh, 10 rounds of some calories on the rower and then some snatches. I think I'm gonna do maybe 225. Might go a little heavier if I feel good, but it'll be kind of based on feel. I know what the, I know what I want this workout to feel like, so I'll have to adjust the weight based on that to hit the stimulus I'm looking for. But um, something that I've kind of changed recently in my training, <clears throat> doing more warm up reps, especially on Olympic lifts. Because in the past, especially if I was short on time from uh, like a long day at the farm, I would do like empty barbell 135, 225, because I didn't want to waste time doing those warm up reps. But I kind of had to frame it differently in my mind to where now I'm not thinking about doing warm up reps, I'm thinking about these are extra, extra technique reps that I get to do. So in my, in my brain, that makes sense and actually makes me want to do more reps. Prior to getting to my starting weight, because my dumb brain's like, oh, now I'm doing technique reps. This is cool. This is fun. So that helps me just warm up better, get more reps in before my starting weight. And uh, yeah, how you how you frame things to yourself is important. It can make a big difference. You know, the story that you tell yourself about your reality can change a lot of things.
How's this, the squat warm up going? <sighs> It's good. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Six by five today. So make it set to be done at this weight. We'll see how it goes. Nice. Gonna be big leg alley this next season. Put it on max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see, be... don't, uh, see big legs in my future ever. Strong legs, but I just don't know if they're gonna be big. You gotta get it up here first. I have it up here. I know exactly what it, I want it to look like. <laughs> you gotta believe it. <laughs> we'll see. I just need them strong, really. Functional. Yeah. Right? Size doesn't matter in CrossFit. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Excited, Allison? Um, I don't know if excited is the word I would use for this workout, but partner workout I'm excited for. We have a partner workout. We have one person working while the other person will be holding kettlebells, 200 calorie ski, 200 GAC sit-ups, 200 calorie air bike, 100 sandbag cleans, 200 calorie air bike, 200 GAC sit-ups, 200 calorie ski. It's gonna take a little while. I'll we'll probably do a little bit of accessories and then we'll be done for the day.
Well, that was tough. All yeah. done for the day now? Yeah. Time to go work on the house. Yeah, get a, get a little bit of food. Get a little bit of food. I explained how hard the workout was. <laughs> get a little bit of food. Work on the house. Go to bed. Really I'm ready for bed. It's just like, they never ended. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty tired now. Oh yeah, no, I'm tired. Exhausted. But like, I definitely thought it was going to be way worse than it was, I think. It was about what I expected it to be. I'm an endurance athlete. <laughs> I feel, right, feel worse now than I did during, for sure. Oh, I feel better now. All right. How's a Saturday training? Ready to frame, I mean, trim some windows? I guess so. How do you say it like that? I want to work on the doghouse. <laughs> we have wood that is painted and ready to be hung, and our windows look like shit. They do not. They look rustic. I don't look rustic. I've been tired of looking at the yellow spray foam. <laughs> and it will just finish up the interior of the house so much more. And it will look nice and bright and friendly and inviting. And we won't have drywall dust all over anymore. Or, 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 <laughs> we can build it. It looks house. so much brighter in this. We don't need to work on the doghouse right now. We're gonna get like it's six thirty already. We might as well just work in here and get those things hung because it won't take as long. We can probably get the fourth wall framed. We can probably work in here and get those things hung and then work all day there. tomorrow on all their stuff. So tomorrow we'll work on the doghouse. Potentially. Potentially. We also need to work on the vanity because uh, <sighs> we don't have a sink in the bathroom. You can work on the vanity. I'll work on the doghouse. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? I think so. We need to buy sinks for it. <laughs> well, the freaking vanity isn't even ready yet. But if we work hard tomorrow, we could get it ready for sinks. The sinks I saw at Lowe's weren't even that expensive. Cheaper than the freaking doghouse he decided to build. They needed a new doghouse. <laughs> they don't even use the one that they have now. That's why they need a new one. No. <laughs> They think they're too good for the old ones. <laughs> they enjoy laying on the grass in the sun. Not in a dark, scary doghouse. This one's got windows. Bitch, we have to buy some windows. <laughs> <laughs> we also need to buy some sinks. <laughs> we have the utility sink. We can throw that in there. Oh, so we gotta throw that in there. I want the bathroom to look nice. We also need to make the shelves for it. I'm tired of making shelves. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> These ones aren't gonna be as bad. Probably do the floating look and then just a little strip of a little cleat on it, you know? Instead of the brackets. So now I have to make cleats? Those won't be that hard to make. We get those little those little uh, trim pieces that we got for the doors and just use those and cut them down. Yeah. We only need like three or four shelves. Cause we're only starting at like belly button level. It's <laughs> a really weird level. <laughs> oh, brother. Alright. Okay, let's go trim some windows. We also need to turn some lights on in here. We're gonna be working outside. The windows that we have to trim are in here. They're right there. Yeah, but we gotta Boom. cut the trim boards. Boom. And guess what? And, oh, look at the windmill. That's so pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Should we start with that window over there? I guess. I wanted to start in our bedroom because she puts my pillow <laughs> on the windowsill. If you saw his dang pillow and he was for pillow. his head. You made me That's get rid flatter, of my... flatter, flatter <laughs> than a freaking piece of cardboard that he you... folds in half and he uses his head pillow between his legs. I have one pillow. Oh my god. <laughs> well, my pillow is not disgusting. This is the dirty window. Do you see my pillow laying on it? It's not even dirty. Do you see how gross this pillow is? It's probably got sawdust on it. it looks good in the camera. It looks new. You wanna freaking look at that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
It's like, <laughs> it's literally half an inch thick. <laughs> That's why I fold it in half. And it's the perfect, perfect size for my head. For our bedroom. Yeah, so, I'm going to get a new one one of these days. Yeah, well, maybe not a body pillow. <clears throat> Check out these walls. That's an accent wall. I didn't think I could do it. I never even said that. Look how good I cut it in there. I never even said you couldn't do it. There's hey, the closet. Check out my jerseys. Crash Crucible. And come on. Paper Street Coffee. That's my chili goat underwear. <laughs> my towel. All right, change plans. Forgot we had to rip our trim down a quarter of an inch to get it in the windowsill to be the right size. So we're gonna paint it some more or prime some more trim boards. <clears throat> now we're gonna run to the farm and get the table saw to cut down our boards. So we got a few boards cut and put in. Not too bad. This doubles as like our bathroom sink right now until we get our vanity finished. But it's coming along. Got that window done. Got that window done. So I have to do the caulk and fill the nail holes and the final coat of paint. But we've got a few windows done now. I gotta get some more boards for this one. Hey, boy. Say hi to the people. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> Neil, you're a bad dog. No, you're so sweet. Say no, that's a How did you end up with three of the bones? She broke the wall, actually, that was me, but I didn't really make one new one. How did you end up with three, Millie? You can't keep arguing. I like this one. Are you ready for dinner? Margo, are 